Hey everyone, I'm joined by Derek Bauer, who I last I last spoke with you at I think Computex about delitting Intel CPUs. We delitted a 7900X back then, and now after the delit die mate has been out and we've delitted several things, you've got a new direct die contact kit. So what's uh, let's let's go over the basics of the product and the name and things like that, and I guess we'll talk thermal differences too. So what what what's the let's start with the name. Oh yeah, it's very special. It's called the uh, Skylake X Direct Die Frame. Okay. So I've been very creative there. Yeah. So uh, so marketing department in your budget or? Ah uh, no. Okay. Uh, so it's a direct frame. The p the point is to remove the socket, basically, right? Yeah, it replaces the whole ILM essentially. So you have to remove that thing completely. Also the backplate of the motherboard. Then obviously you have to delete your CPU. You leave off the heat spreader. Put the CPU back in. Put the backplate from the back to the mainboard screw in the direct die frame and that's basically it. It's pretty simple. And then the point being that you can allow direct contact between the die and the cold plate. What kind of thermal benefit do you see from that? Uh, it really depends on the chip. So uh, it depends if it's a high core count, low core count chip. Uh, depends if it's very convex or not. Also depends on cooler, thermal paste, everything. If you take all of that into account, usually let's say 2 to 10 degrees difference. Um, that's the highest I saw was in a 7980XE. The one I actually have here, I, for some reason, the, the chip is very convex. And um, if you have a cooler that's also a little bit convex, it really, f well, it, it works a lot better than using the uh, normal IHS, and that's like 8 to 10 degrees difference. Also, what I've seen is that the cores are getting a lot closer together. So normally, they're, sometimes you have a, a, a core that's like 15 degrees Celsius hotter than other ones. And if you use direct die, they're closer together. So it reduces the delta core to core. Yeah. And uh, at that point, I guess for, for these numbers you're giving, are, is this with thermal paste between the cold plate and the die? Yeah, I mean, the the, previ the, the first testing I did was just deleting with liquid metal and uh, normal conventional uh, compound on top between the cooler and IHS. And then the second testing with liquid metal on top of this and between the cooler. OK, and uh, as for risks, any risks involved with because typically if we've had people ask us to do direct eye tests and the answer generally has been no <laughs> because without a frame you risk cracking the die or something so is there a torque spec for tightening the cooler or what are the risks um, yeah that was one of the biggest challenges I mean mainly having an even pressure on all the PCBs to push them down into the socket equally because if you would have too much pressure on the, on the top PCB the bottom one is really thin, it would kind of not really bend, but you just lose socket contact, you lose memory channels, PCI Express devices are gone. And that was one of the challenges. And then, as you said before, it's kind of a risk cracking the die if you just mount it on top. But um, so the tolerance is really tight on, on this, on all the dimensions, especially the, the bottom ones that touch the PCB. But the very thin part on top, it's like 0 0.52 to 0 0.58 millimeters. Um, and it's it's like not even 0 0.1 millimeter height difference to the core. So no matter what you do, if you have it mounted, you can do whatever you want with your cooler. You're not going to crack the die. And what about pricing and availability? Availability will be quite decent, I think. Um, we have a lot of, well, several hundred pieces, let's say that. Um, it will be available firstly uh, through Case King and OC UK, later on over Amazon US as well. And pricing will be 59 or 69 US dollar. Not sure about that yet, but roughly that. How about release date? Uh, next week or whenever this video is online. <laughs> so for more information, links in the description below. We will have one of these to test so we can do some direct eye cooling tests versus our original D-lids. And thank you, as always, for joining me. Thank you, man. We'll see you all next time.